Hey guys, it's Koi Case here, and today I'm going to be doing a try on thrift haul with you guys. Very large, lots of cool things. I have a lot of dressy things, casual to more boyish pieces and things like that. So I hope you enjoy, get some inspiration for your own styles, and also encourage you to go thrifting for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I got is this one piece from Goodwill. It is this precious baby blue crop top. It's not super cropped, it's a little bit lower than your average, but I love the details and the seam on the bust. The brand is Nikita. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a sports top, but it definitely looks like one. I would honestly wear this without a bra and just, if it's for like low impact stuff, this would be cool to do for working out. If and when I plan on going back to the gym and it seems to be dry fit texture, so I think that would help dry faster. Actually, this could honestly be a bathing suit top. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. My next few pieces I got are actually from my mom's closet that I thought I'd share with you guys. So the first thing I have is this fairy, super extra and dramatic purple dress. At first I wasn't sure about the top half because it's so, I thought it was weird on the boobs. It has this elastic scrunchy part in the middle. It looks like it could be like one size. The brand is Miracle which I've never heard of before, but it's quite comfortable. I think I can dress this down with some sneakers, and I think I could also wear this as a Halloween costume in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Then this one is from Wild Fable, which I believe I've only seen sold at Target so far. It's this fuzzy, textured, lavender sweater. I just love how comfy it is with the black stitching in it. It looks very cool. The whole color and cut of the sweater kind of outweighs the weirdness, I feel about the collar part of it. The last thing I got from my mom's closet is this skirt, which I've turned into a top, a cute spring and summer tube top. This piece is a great example of what my style is like, where it's comfortable, still looks stressy, and I don't have to wear a bra with it. And that is everything from my mom's closet. And now we're gonna move on to my favorite thrift store of all time, ARC. ARC I've only heard about in Colorado. I'm not sure if, there's, if there are any anywhere else. If you watched my previous video on my thrift store challenge, that is where me and my sister went shopping. I also bought some stuff for myself when we did that challenge and I actually have them here for you guys. So we've been there quite a few times now. I'm actually planning on going there again tomorrow. The reason I like it so much is because it, the prices are so good. The, the store that I go to in Nova where I'm from has pants for like $12, whereas this place had pants for like seven and jackets for seven. I have not gone to one of those stores and not found something I liked. So you get it, I love this store. So before I get into this first piece, I hated on this trend so much. So this piece is a little hypocritical, but also I'll explain and I will give my defense afterwards. But I got myself one of these tiny little bags and the reason why I did not like them or did not like them is because they're not practical. Although you can use them for fashion for sure. It has some bedazzled gems in the front at the, where the clasp is. It has this floral pattern that you can may or may not see, but I like how subtle it is. And then it, the, it's actually quite annoying to open. <laughs> but it has this little mirror in here to check, you know, check your teeth, make sure you're not looking crusty. And then it has this area here for lip gloss or lipstick. I don't use any of those because my lips need Vaseline because they get dry very fast. And then I was thinking I can just use these two pockets for coins, cards, or dollar bills that I have. And that's really all I need if I'm gonna run errands. With that in mind, it has just enough for, this, for the little simple things you need, which most of you really don't need. A lot of the things that I, you do put in your purse, and I can also hold this a lot of different ways. I'm not sure if I like that rope texture, but I really like the purse itself, so I prioritize that over this part here. I'm gonna go into the pants now, which surprisingly is very easy to find. So if you're into this, then definitely I recommend you go to the guys section of a thrift store. The first thing I have is these Carhartt black cargo pants. So cool. As soon as I saw the Carhartt label, when I was sifting through the pants in the guys section, I fell in love. I already knew I wanted to check it out. Another thing I recommend that you do when you do go thrifting is to not let the size of the guy's pants fool you. Just put it in your cart and try it on because you just never know if it's gonna fit you. So for example, these ones are 32, 33 on the tag and I'm usually a size 27 in pants. So you think they'd be like really big, but they're actually only a little loose and I plan on wearing this with shoelace, but they are in great condition. 
They honestly don't look like they've really been worn much. And I just love the detailing. And you gotta flex the Carhartt brand. $10 for this nice pair of cargo pants. Another pair of pants that I have are these REI hiking pants, apparently. If you watched my previous video with my sister, our thrift challenge, I made her wear this one and it has these front pockets in the back, which I guess maybe if you're hiking, you need a little more extra room for some pockets. These pants also turn into shorts. I've never actually tried them on with just the shorts, but I'll, put, I'll do them in the try on. I'm probably not gonna wear it as shorts, but they're very cool as pants. It also has a zipper detailing on the bottom, which personally I usually don't like. It kind of gives it extra, extra hardware extra details to the bottom since it's so top heavy. They're hiking pants, so I assume that I can, you know, move comfortably in them. Last pants I got from REI are these green cargo pants. I think you got this at Target, but it says Genuine Sonoma Jean Co Jeans Company. And again, size here is 31, 32, but yeah, it fits me perfectly. And I'm normally 27. Don't be afraid. Don't let the size fool you. Try them on. You can just feel it in the pants. They're pretty heavy duty and they're gonna last me for a long time. So as you can see, my style, I like to wear some pretty feminine, girly outfits, but I also like to wear some more boyish, Again, I put these all in quotes because you can wear whatever you want. I just don't like to wear tight skinny jeans anymore. So if you're not a skinny jean fan or you just want to change up your style, wear something a little more comfortable, cargo pants are definitely something I recommend. So this is, again, something I styled my sister in for my last video, if you want to check that out. Pacific embroidered in the front and the back in large text, which is super cool. And this is an extra large I found in the guys section. I love a good oversized jacket that I can layer on. My Pacific jacket is from Port Authority. The colors are really cool. I also like that the pocket is outlined in green. I would say this is more of a windbreaker jacket and it has this matte texture to it. And even the lining is green here, so I love the small accents on here. And then the next few things I got from ARC are my more feminine pieces I was really proud of finding. So the first thing is this simple black baby doll dress. It was a trend a little while back and I don't know if it is now. Not at least not this style, because I definitely have one like this in white. But the black one's not see-through. I can again wear this without a bra, which is perfect. And it's actually quite thick and has another lining in the inside. The brand of my black baby doll dress is... BE. So it's a nice piece I can layer jackets on or I can leave it as it is. I actually like using dresses as my lazy day outfit sometimes. I can just, just throw this on, put on a pair of sneakers, and I'm good to go. The next dress I got, <laughs> so cute. So at first I saw this and I was like, okay, this is kind of old lady-like. I liked the style of it, but I wasn't sure about the pattern. But I decided to take it with me anyways. It looked like something that came from Urban Outfitters. I went ahead and tried this on and it fit me perfectly and I felt very comfortable and confident in it. The brand of my green dress here is Susanna Monaco. So the last thing I got from ARC is this beautiful dress from CDC. I never heard of this brand before, but I thought it was gorgeous. The colors are so warm. Again, this one really flatters my body really well. For my body type, I always feel like I can't find form-fitting dresses that I feel comfortable in. And this one definitely gives me that confidence. I love this scrunchy detail here that has been trending a lot lately and I like that it's just like a hint here and the spaghetti straps are two and it crosses in the back so to get some new dresses for myself I love that I've got so many different styles now and that is everything from ARC so the next thing I'm going to show you guys are clothes from Plato's Closet if you haven't been to one of those it's a consignment shop where you can also sell your own clothes so if you do have clothes you're trying to get rid of I suggest going to Plato's if you want a quick buck I feel like you can definitely get your money's worth more if you sell on Poshmark, which I do as well. So if you want to check out my Poshmark, I'm, it's also Kawaii Case, and you can see clothes that I'm selling there. One of the brands I have for Play-Dohs is this sheer peplum top that is in this nude color from Forever 21. And it has this raw cut here on the sleeve, sleeve and raw cut at the bottom. And I thought this would be really adorable to layer on top of a really like tight skin outfit if I'm wearing like, leggings and tank top, I can just put this on top. And then I also thought about doing bralettes as well. I'm honestly not sure how to style it in many different ways yet, but I really thought it was a unique piece and just makes 
an outfit look really cool and, and intentional. And then next thing I have is this Lululemon tank top my mom actually found when we were shopping. It's a racerback tank top that I want to use while, when I play tennis or I work out. Probably for playing tennis because I do that more. What's really cool about Play-Doh is that if you are interested in Forever 21 H&M, a lot of the fast fashion places, you can find some people giving rid of their stuff there. And it makes you feel a little bit better about buying, knowing that I'm using things that's already been used and giving someone's clothes a new home. You can also find really cool brand, hot brands there, just like Lululemon. Another thing I got from Play-Doh's closet is this cardigan from Free People, which again, sh goes to show that you can find some really nice things from Play-Doh's that are well-known brands. It's really like big oversized cardigan that I think I could use as a top itself. When I go shopping, I love thinking about all the things ways I can wear with it and I can just see myself wearing this in a lot of different ways. And it has this ribbon tied on the, on the top and it actually has a broken button, but since I tie it on the top, it doesn't really matter. And then it has these two other buttons here. It's supposed to be three, but there's two. And then, uh-oh, did a button just come off? Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, the button just came off of the top. Okay. All right, I really need to learn how to sew because, come on, I can't. I still like it, but dude, <laughs> the whole look was supposed to be like buttons on the bottom and then being able to tie on the top. What in the world? Okay. <laughs> R.I.P. to my brand new cardigan. Um, I'm still gonna try to make it work despite it being broken on two of these, but I also like this. Pretending that didn't happen, I really like the texture. It's very unique. It's like rough on the outside and it's the same texture on the inside. And then the bottom of it has, what is this? I also like this band detail at the bottom that goes all the way around. I like that the hem is raw on all ends. So minus the fact that I'm losing buttons one by one every second, it's a very cool piece. The next thing I got is just a plain black shoe top from Divided. Pretty sure that's usually something that's sold at H&M. So I just wanted another basic thing I can wear with a lot of stuff, layer it, etc. And that goes into this one, which is from Victoria's Secret or Pink. And it's a little wrinkly because I just got it out of the dryer. But it comes with the inside little extra protection for you. So if you're like me that doesn't like wearing bras. And then it has a little pink gold thing on the back. It's a really nice color and I can wear this with a lot of stuff. I wasn't super in love with it, but I know that I'll wear it a lot because it's just like my tank tops that I wear all the time. And with accessories, you can really do a lot with this. And then next piece I got is this really pretty Ugh, just freaking did this crap. Okay, my camera decided to die on me. You're right, let me shut off for no freaking reason. So the next piece I got from Plato's Closet is this beautiful bralette with all this amazing lace details. I do not know where this one is from as I pull off the tag. <laughs> you can see the little lace details here. I think it'd be cool if you layer it and let the little top part peek out or the little bottom pieces peek out. If I wanna feel a little fancy. The last thing I got from Play-Doh's is this Nasty Gal nude top. It has a sweetheart line and these puffy sleeves. And the one thing I don't like about this top is the zipper in the back because it's not comfortable and also it's just not easy to put on. I don't know if I'm the only one that struggles with putting on zippers in the back like that, but why make it hard? Why not make this just a stretchy piece? But this is actually my first Nasty Gal top that I've owned. I had to get this from Play-Doh's, so when I saw the brown, I was like, oh, I never had anything from there. They used to have cool, trendy stuff. Let's just try it on. Ended up loving it. And that's everything from Playlist Closet. So now I'm gonna show you guys some stuff from Costco, which is not a thrift store. But the last few things I have, I just wanted to show you out that are outside thrift stores that I thought would be cool. Thing I got from Costco are these bralettes from that are Calvin Klein. Got black, maroon, and then I'm wearing the white one right now. So they're very comfortable. If you don't like wearing bras like me, but you still wanna wear like bralettes and have some coverage, these are great options. It comes with a pad inside, so you can take it out if you want. So you could wear them as tops as well. I'm not just doing that with the white one, just cause it's not, it doesn't really do as much coverage, but unless you don't mind that, then go for it. The next piece I got is from Lululemon. You may have seen this in my past vlog where I was in Denver. 
with my family and it is this one piece tennis skirt outfit and it's pleated on the bottom has these lines that go across it diagonally and the lining is nude for the sports bra inside so you don't have to wear one which is nice very comfortable and something I would love to wear both on the tennis court and also with some sneakers and wear it casually. I always wanted one of these pieces once I saw Serena Williams in them and now I can go be her on the courts. And then next piece I got is from Forever 21. I usually don't like shopping there but I did need something for an interview. Turns out I didn't even end up using this one for the interview. It's still really nice and cute. It has these ruffle detailing on the collar and also on the sleeves. This is just a nice bright piece that I can wear tucked into these shorts, honestly, would be really cute. Or into pants, just dress something up just like that nude top from Nasty Gal. And then last thing I got, thing I've been wearing every day ever since I got it, which you may have seen in my past vlogs, are these guys. My Air Force Ones. Which, you know, everyone has them, but now I get it because I can wear these with everything. These ones are different. They have the platform and they have this thick outlining on the right by the heel. And at first that was a little weird, but I've definitely loved them. I've worn them every single day, besides days where I don't want to make them super dirty. I don't mind if they get dirty, but I'm going hiking, I'm probably not going to wear these shoes. They've got quite a bit of wear now ever since. I like that they're thick and they're also chunky. I think that looks super cute on... Girl, especially when you have small feet like I do. I also can use these to dress down outfits. Pretty much everything I have in here can go with these shoes and that's why I love these so much. So if you want a shoe that you can wear with everything and anything, I suggest grabbing some Air Force Ones. I actually got these on sale at the Nike factory store. So I got these for 70 or 80. Good investment. Yeah. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know which piece here was your favorite. I feel like it's hard to say, but I'm definitely proud of my dress finds at the thrift store. I, didn't, I never thought I could find something so beautiful there. If this is not encouraged to go thrifting now, I don't know what will because look how many cool pieces I found. And so many different types of styles it can accommodate. No matter what you're into, go ahead and go thrifting. Find something cool. Let me know what you think. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! I can just check. Oh, oh. I was just gonna say I can check my teeth on this and then I realized I had something in my teeth this whole time, so I'll be back. Okay, hopefully the thing in my teeth is not showing the whole freaking time that I was showing you guys stuff. At least this part, this uh, type of, what is this?